his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in the truth. Answer me in the righteousness. Do not enter the judgment of your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one more dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated of all your works. I meditated in the works of your hands. I spread all my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a wildness land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit pains within me. Turn your face, turn not your face from me. Lest I become like those who go down the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, Lord, the way wherein I should go, for I lifted up my soul to you. Deliver me my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. You put spiritual guide me in the land of rights. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction, and in your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into the judgment of your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into the judgment of your servant. You good spirit shall guide me in the land of brightness. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and today is of Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory, glory to you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, glory, glory to you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, o God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For have mercy. For the peace of our the salvation of our soul. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and God in need, let us pray.
name of the Lord, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord I defend myself against them. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord in this wonderful thing arise. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let thy heaven sing for joy, and let everything on earth be glad. For his arm the Lord has for power, he trampled death underfoot by means of death. And he became the first death, first born from the dead, from the law of Hades, he delivered us. And he granted the world his great mercy. Supremely blessed are you, O Christ our God. You established the holy fathers upon the earth as vehicles, and through them you have guided the soul to the true faith. O great and merciful one, glory to you. O Dimas, Yeni, Tisa, e Partenu, che stavo sinti comina sagate, o tanato ton pana ton silepsas, che ene sindixa sos deos, i paridi su sepasas, i chiri su dixon, in filatropia su mele imor. Dex et inte cursan se teotokon, Presbeus ai perimon, que sos os sotimon, da onda de los medos. Thoras os filantropos. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We may be laborers now, theologize about the inexplicable, incomprehensible, unspoken mystery of the crucifixion and the resurrection. For today, the real of death and of Hades has been spoiled. And vested is the human race with incorruptibility, and therefore in thanksgiving we cry aloud, Glory to the resurrection of Christ. You carry mystically with your whom the one incomprehensible, uncircumcisable, and coessential of the Father and the Spirit. O Mother of God, by you giving birth, we know that the tree, tree is energy, singular and unconfused, is that world should be glorified, and therefore, in thanksgiving, it cry out to you, rejoice, O Lady, full of grace. Ebloi di cosi chirie, di daxon meta di geomatasu,
very simple the words he spoke. The blessing angel said to the murder bearing woman, Why do you look in a tomb for the living one? He is risen and has emptied the tombs. Not him, the unchanging changer of corruption. Say to God, How awesome are your works, for you have saved the human race. You rescued the captivity of Zion, out of Babylon, the law goes, to also draw me up from the basins of life. Those who saw shedding godly tears on the, on the sound wind is blowing, joy will see will harvest the ears of life everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, as in the Father and the Son, radiates increasingly every gift of goodness, and in him all things both need and move. Unless the Lord built the house of the virtues, in vain do we labor, but in his protect, if he protects the soul, no one can conquer a city. For Christ, the fruit of the womb by the Spirit, are the saints forever as a God, sons to you as to a father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit are perceived of holiness and wisdom, for He gives substance to all creation. Since He is God, let us worship Him as we do the Father and the Logos. Those who fear the Lord are blessed. They will walk in the ways of the commandments, for they will eat every kind of a baby plant produce. Gazing on the offspring round a barge table, bearing branches of good works, be blessed, O Archpastor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the age of ages. Amen. Who in the Holy Spirit is all the wealth of glory, from him issue grace and life to all creation. For he is extolled with the Father and the Logos. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. He but then said, let's see, or the Kyrios and Vasilev said, the Gargatotus and the Nicomene, in Susa left him said then. O sing a new song to the Lord, Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. From the tomb he rose the day, O Lord, of death and compassion. Also from the gates of death he led us out, O our Savior. On this day, Sodom dancing and it rejoices, and of them together the patriarchs and the prophets are unceasingly extolling the divine power of your authority. Let heaven and earth dance for joy today, and oneness of mind exalt Christ God, for he resurrected the prisoners from the tombs. All creation rejoices together, offering worthy songs to the Creator of all and our Redeemer. For today, as the giver of life, he has drawn mortals up from Hades. He exalts them to heaven together and lays a curse on the enemy's haughtiness and smashes the gates of Hades by the divine power of his authority. The preaching of the apostles and the dogmas of the fathers confirm the church as one in faith and wearing the garment of truth, woven of theology from above, she rightly expounds and holds the great mystery of piety. On July 18th, we commemorate the Holy Martyr Emilia. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyrs Paul, Thea, and Valentina. We also commemorate the Holy Martyr Hyacinth of Amastris. The Holy Martyr Marcellus died after he was stretched out on a burning bed of fire. The Holy Martyrs Dacius and Mary died by the sword. They devoured Pambu. Repose in peace. We also commemorate the fathers among the saints Stephen, Patriarch of Constantinople, who was transferred from Amasia, and John the Confessor, Metropolitan of Cantinon. On 
this day we also commemorate the consecration of the church dedicated to the most holy Theotokos in Callistrandos. On this day, we also commemorate the 630 God-fearing fathers who convened in Chalcedon for the Holy Fourth Ecumenical Council. By the intersections of the Holy Fathers of God, have mercy on us. Amen. Anixo to stoma buke dio disse te plegmatos, que logo ne rexo me ti vasilidi mi pri, que ofiso me, que vros pani dirizon, que aso i to me nos taftis ta tamata. Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, for they form a spiritual choir for you, the living and abundant bounty, and graciously in your divine glory, give glorious crowns to them. In the next year, so the Atuli, the Expartenus Arcoseos, to sweep Sisu, O Propriti Sambacu, Catalone Crab Gazette, Doxati dinamin sukirie. O God divine, believers, come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast, and thus exalt the Theotokos and clap your hands and glorify our God who are truly born of her. God divine, my decree. Do not adore created things in the Creator's sea, rather despairing in the threat of fire. They trifled it and joyfully they sung, was supremely praised, and was exalted Lord and God, as the fathers you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Yurtas would not serve but in the furnace. The son of the Thotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured them, having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. All the works of the Lord to all ages, sing praises to the Lord and exalt him with your measure. Let us pray the Lord. Lord have mercy. Why do you seek the living 
among the dead. He is not here but is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Gandhi that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise. But they remembered his words and returning from the tomb they told all these to the eleven and all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told these to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the little cross by themselves, and he went home wondering at what had happened. Glory to you. The power of the precious life of the cross, the protection of 
whose memory we are observing, and of all your saints, we beseech you only merciful Lord, hear our sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. 
Sofeos in war. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the first of his feet, for he is holy. Let us with you desert bright and vision to men standing in the life very sepulchre, wearing dancing apparel, besides the bird very woman, who bow their faces to the earth. Let us be taught the rising of him who rules over heaven, and let us run for to life within the tomb, rejoin, rejoining Peter, marveling at what has occurred, let us abide to see Christ. Praise the Lord. Doxa sito fixa nito fos, doxa enipsis tis feo,
soul and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Good day in the sessions of that fellow host. Say your sins. A glory gives you kimu don't give your kidney at the lantern. Passes as a double dose is up to. As resilient as his fellow host. So then, so so the boss. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven. And his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the fellow lords, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the fellow lords, Savior, save us. Enke, enke, ilde, 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 ilde,
disciples, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid, nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not a miota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. be watchful. 
in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. We live in a society that is trying to change everything according to its own desires. We live in a society that is trying to change even the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, to change even the revelation of God, the Bible, to match, to fit their own agenda. How did we get here? About 500 years ago, after centuries of having emperors and popes trying to replace God on earth, to the point that the Pope of Rome, the Bishop of Rome, claimed to be the Vicar of Christ on earth, about 500 years ago, people revolted against these emperors and these popes, and they said, this is not true. You are not God on earth. But what did they do? They replaced emperors and the popes with themselves. About 500 years ago, people started to replace Christ with themselves. And each person tried to become a pope. Leonardo da Vinci came up with a famous statement taken from the antiquity that the man is the measure of all things. And he even came up, you know, I'm sure that you've seen that drawing of Leonardo da Vinci with the man with the arms, you know, stretched out, and that the man is the measure of all things. Who is the man with the arms stretched out who is really the measure of all things? Christ is. Leonardo da Vinci replaced Christ with himself. And this was the humanism. Around the same time, humanity in Western Europe exper experienced the Protestant Reformation. The Christians in the Western Christianity revolted against the Pope who claimed to be Christ on earth, and they transformed every Christian into a Pope because they told every Christian that every single person is inspired by the Holy Spirit to understand the Gospel, the revelation of God. Basically, they transformed every Christian into a Pope, infallible. Guess what? Martin Luther was still alive when other churches were coming out of the Lutheran Church. Because people did not agree with Martin Luther because they were told that every single person is right <laughs> and guided by the Holy Spirit. And so we ended up with more than 30,000 Christian denominations nowadays. And most of them think that they are right. <laughs> All of them think that they are right. And they try to fit the gospel, the revelation of God with their own agenda political, uh, social, you name it. They try to fit the gospel, the revelation of God, with what they want to hear. I'm preaching to you about this today because even if this is not what we believe in the Orthodox Church, we live in this society. And we are influenced by these ideas. Our Lord Jesus Christ told us very clearly that whomever loses, whomever tries to change his revelation and to teach that will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he one who does and teaches the real revelation of God will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Let us keep this in mind. Let us be watchful. And next time when we encounter something in the revelation of God that we don't agree with, let's pause and pray. You know, if we go to the doctor, the doctor gives us a pill. Do we know everything about that pill? We don't. 
but we trust the doctor that he knows what he's doing. And we take the pill, and we hope that the pill is going to help us. It is the same and at a much higher level with the revelation of God. We don't know everything. Many things don't make sense to us because according to the Bible, human wisdom is foolishness with God. Your ways are not my ways, the Lord says. This is why the gospel is called the gospel, Evangelion. An Evangelion was the proclamation of an emperor in the old times. For some people, it was in, indeed Evangelos, good news. For some people, it was not good news, but guess what? They had to take it, because it was coming from the emperor. The Evangelion, the Gospel of God, is the same thing. Take it or leave it, but don't debate it, because it comes from God. And the only way to accept it is through faith in humility for the glory of God, so that we could be called great in his kingdom. Amen. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> and that always guard by your power, we glory to you, the Father,
that we may listen the holy offering in peace and offering of peace a sovereign my soul
Oči naši, Tvoj posljednji podesati, da se sveti Tvoje po ime, da dojde Tvoje po carstvo, da bude Tvoje po vole tako na nebedu, da kaj ne zemljata. Daj nam dnes na srštje kljak i prosti nam da obumete ni, da kaj pominije poštavljamo na vrežnici ti si, i ne bi bilo vrežnjeti skušenje, da zbog 
I will not reveal your particular adversities, nor will I give you pieces that you must let the thief I confess to you. I still highly recommend to open wide your mouth, lower your head on the back, and I'll put the Holy Communion in your mouth. Okay? For the reflection to the Lord, for she is good as a Lord. Let's 
One last time, nice and loud.
blessed all the day long, we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Radiance 
of the one God led us praise and the shout in song. Holy are you, eternal Father, co-eternal Son, and divine Holy Spirit, illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. Now and forever and the ages of ages, Amen. Rejoice, gracious Lady, who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and to whom the human race is found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find the 
remembrance of his sins from Christ to the mortal king and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled down death and have abolished the power of the devil, giving life to the world. Give rest to the soul of your departed servant, Nico, in a place of light in a place of repose, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin he has committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and is sinless, you alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Nico, Christ our God. And to you give glory with your eternal Father and your own holy in the life giving spirit. Now and forever and to the end.
service for Nico Pliastos for 40 days. God rest him in peace in his kingdom and of course you know we keep him in our love and through Christ we are one in his kingdom. May God rest him in peace. May his memory be eternal. As 
I found out on the, I stayed away from my email and my phone on vacation. I promised myself that this time I'm going to do that. So I checked my emails when Presbyterian was driving. Uh, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised that the, the metropolis of Detroit lifted up all the COVID restrictions as of July 1st. So glory to God for being able to come to church in person and uh, not to have the COVID restrictions anymore. However, if any of you feel that for whatever reasons you have to protect yourself, some people have to travel, okay? And they don't want to take chances, you know, sometimes, you know, a few days before travel. Some people have someone sick at home. Some people have a job that requires them to be stricter than the general population. You know your personal situation. If you want to wear a mask when you, when you come to church, wear a mask. And the other ones, please don't judge. Okay? We don't know somebody else's situation. They know it. And God knows it. So we have to respect each other. By the grace of God, we have more freedom. But some people have to follow different rules because they have a different situation. Please don't judge. And love. So... Uh, because also, you know, we want to allow those who have a different situation to come to church and not to be afraid to come to church because we have too much freedom in church. Having said that, now I want to make a few announcements for uh, the activities that we are going to have in the life of our church. We are planning a church family outing the Fort Wayne Team Caps baseball game on Friday, August 27th at 7 p.m. To reserve your tickets, please text or call Maria Field at the phone number listed in our uh, weekly bulletin. The deadline and payment are due for August 10th. We are planning a vacation church school on July 26th, 27th, and 28th. Next week, not this coming week, but next week, we are planning a vacation church school. And uh, all Sunday school students are invited to participate in this program. So all ages of Sunday school students are invited to participate in this program. For more information, registration, and volunteering, please contact Stacy Raptis. Stacy, do we have, I was away, so you know, I stayed away from everything. Do we have many children registered yet? We have some, we have some, and we have a few more days. Of course, you know, by next Sunday, we need to know how many children are gonna participate in this program. So please talk to Stacy about registration or if you want to come and volunteer. We are planning on having the 54th annual Greek Bowl on Saturday, September 18th. Please mark it in your calendar. After a long break because of COVID, Today, we will have our Agape Fellowship again after the Holy Liturgy. Please stay to connect with your church family. Today's Agape is offered by the Pliastos family in Nikos' memory. And uh, next Sunday, we will have a regular Agape. And also next Sunday, instead of a sermon, we will have a family talk about the meaning of agape and about how we are trying to reinvent agape, the coffee hour in our church. We'll try to find, to, to, to come up, you know, with a better and easier way of having this meaningful ministry in our church. So next Sunday, we'll talk about this and you'll have the chance to ask the questions that you want to ask about this new way in which we are trying to do the Agape Coffee Hour in our church. Tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. we will celebrate the Vesperal Holy Liturgy at St. Nicholas Church for St. Elijah because on Tuesday, on July 20th, we celebrate the Holy Prophet Elijah. Then on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. And, and on Friday morning at 10 a.m. our senior men will get together for the men's club and uh, on Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. we'll have a meeting of the parish council. Next Sunday, God willing, we'll get together at 8.45 a.m. for matins, at 10 a.m. for Holy Liturgy and after Holy Liturgy next Sunday and after having our discussion about Agape, we will have 
our first regular agape, God willing. Christ is among us. God bless you. Please come now for the veneration of the cross. You are allowed again to kiss the cross. This doesn't mean that you have to kiss the cross. Okay? You choose how you want to uh, uh, honor the cross of the Lord. If you, are, if you want to kiss the Lord, kiss the cross, kiss the cross. If not, just bow and I'm going to give you the prosperous, the antidote. God bless you and please come.